2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Overland, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Truck, New Cars Buy. Welcome to our car blog, this time we will be share information about the latest cars is coming Jeep brand. The title of an article we take is 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Overland, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Truck, New Cars Buy. We will be try discuss details about this car, ranging from, reviews, concept, redesign, rumors, exterior, interior, specs, changes, engine, colors, pictures, release date and also prices. Congratulation to read and we hope you enjoy it and then we'll come back again here. 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Overland, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Truck, New Cars Buy. The 2020 Jeep Gladiator that bowed Wednesday at the 2018 LA Auto Show is the long-rumored pickup truck version of the popular Jeep Wrangler Offroader. Except it's more than just a four-door Wrangler with an open bed much more. The Gladiator stretches a hefty 30 inches longer than the biggest Wrangler. At 218 inches from bumper to bumper, the Gladiator splits the difference between the short and long bed versions of the Chevy Colorado Crew Cab. Jeep got to that extra length by adding 19.4 inches of steel to extend the 2020 Gladiator's wheelbase. Nearly a foot of frame was grafted on behind its rear wheels to accommodate its 5-foot steel bed. No single cab version of the Gladiator will be available. That length isn't good for the Gladiator's Brayakover angle, 20.3 degrees for the Gladiator Rubicon compared to 22.6 degrees for the Wrangler Rubicon, or its departure angle, 26 degrees for the Gladiator Rubicon versus 37 degrees for the Wrangler Rubicon, but that's the trade-off for more utility. The Gladiator's bed will be available with a factory-applied bed liner, cargo partitions, a power outlet, and a tonneau cover all for an extra cost, of course. Underhood, the Gladiator will come standard with the automaker's familiar 3.6-liter V6 rated at 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque paired to either a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed automatic transmission. 4-wheel drive with a part-time, 2-speed transfer case is standard. Gladiator Rubicon swap in a beefier transfer case with a low gear even better suited to serious four-wheeling. As in the Wrangler, the Rubicon trim includes wider Dana 44 axles with electronic differential locks, 33-inch all-terrain tires wrapped around 17-inch alloy wheels, and sway bars that disconnect at the tap of a button for better axle articulation. The Stump Puller In 2020, Jeep will offer the Gladiator with a 3.0-liter turbodiesel V6 rated at 220 HP and 442 lb-ft of torque mated exclusively to the 8-speed automatic transmission. Jeep won't offer the Gladiator with the Turbo 4 that's optional in the Wrangler. Jeep is remaining mum on towing ability with the upcoming turbo diesel, but the gas V6 is no lightweight. With an optional tow package and the automatic transmission, it'll be rated to lug as much as 7,660 pounds worth of trailer. Payload capacity varies from 1,100 to about 1,600 pounds depending on trim level and options selected. Speaking of trims, the Gladiator will be offered in just three levels, Sport, Overland, and Rubicon. The Sport trim is relatively spartan with its roll-up windows and 5.0-inch touchscreen for infotainment, although power windows and a 7.0-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are on the options list. Those features come standard on the more lavish Overland, which offers leather seats as an option. An 8.4-inch touchscreen is available at the top end. The Rubicon's four-wheeling bits are augmented by bigger fender flares capable of housing 35-inch tires, a popular aftermarket upgrade. Jeep also made the spare tire well under the bed between the frame rails wide enough to accommodate a 35-inch tire, too. Inside, the Gladiator mirrors the Wrangler at least until the rear seat. The rear seat's 38.3-inch legroom is the same as the Wrangler, but its base folds up stadium-style to reveal a pair of storage pockets. The seat backs also fold flat and there is another storage area between the rear of the cab and the seat backs. Don't look for too many luxuries or safety features, however. The Gladiator won't offer automatic emergency braking, although a pair of packages pile on blind spot monitors, adaptive cruise control, and forward collision alerts. That may not matter to drivers interested in open-air hauling. Not since the Dodge Dakota convertible remember that, has a drop-top pickup been offered through new car dealers. The Gladiator comes with a fabric top as standard, but a composite top with removable panels like that on the Wrangler is optional and can be painted black or body color. As in the Wrangler, the Gladiator's windshield folds forward and its doors can be removed. There's plenty of shared DNA between Jeep's two heavy-duty off-roaders, but they'll carve different paths when the Gladiator goes on sale during the second quarter of 2019. Thanks.